Hello everybody! Welcome to Kids FBC Children's Sunday School Lesson. I hope you have had a great week. Last week we discussed how the Bible is the perfect recipe for our lives. I hope you all were able to spend time reading the Bible and learning new things. Let's review our memory verse from last week. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalms 119, 105. Let's do that one more time. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalms 119, 105. Great job, everyone. Several of you shared some videos with us about things that you learned from the Bible during the week. Let's see what you learned. Hi, my name is Saley. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is James 4, verses 8. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Hi, my name is Daniel. Today we are reading Matthew 5, 14. You, you are the light of the world. What's your name? Mackenzie. What do you know about Jesus? Jesus loved me. Hi, my name is Luke. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Philippians 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Hi, my name is Caden, and I will be reading John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but ha will have eternal life. My name is Keegan and this is my favorite Bible verse. Love one another, John 13, 34. And here's my, here's my other favorite Bible verse. Be kind to each other, Ephesians 4, 32. Hi, my name is Kenzie and my favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 3. Let, the, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Thank you all for sharing with us. I am so very proud of everyone for spending time reading God's Word. It is very important to spend time learning from the Bible. Keep up the good work, everyone! Now it is music time. My sister is going to help lead the music today. Okay, everybody, time to sing some songs. Get your light ready. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now we're going to sing a song about the Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's 
the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. One more time, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. in our music time. Today we are going to be talking about something really fun. Does anybody know what this is? That's right, it's a plant. It's a pepper plant to be exact. A few weeks ago, me and my sister planted seeds in our greenhouses and we watered them and then a few weeks later, they grew into little plants. And then after that, we put them in bigger pots so that they'll be able to grow even more. Look at how big this one is. We will be planting these outside in our garden soon. Having a garden is lots of fun. What do you think will happen if we plant this in my garden? That's right, we will get peppers. Hopefully we will be getting peppers like this. We like to eat them with fajitas at our house. In the Bible, Jesus compares these seeds with God's word. He tells us that we can plant God's word in our hearts and he will help it grow in our lives. Today I'm going to show you everything that's in my garden. So let's go over here to our zucchini. So zucchini has its big leaves. And look over here, there's a yellow flower. It will make some zucchini here soon. Oh, here's a zucchini. Let's go ahead and pick one. So now we got zucchini and I love zucchini bread. Let's go over here to our squash. So over here we have a squash. Big leaves again. So let's pick this yellow squash. So yellow squash is delicious. So now let's go over here to our carrots. So now we have carrots over here. They'll, they'll make carrots here soon. And over here we have some peppers. Peppers are good. Now over here we have some tomatoes. And this yellow flower will make a tomato here soon. Over here we have some gut garlic. And our garlic will make garlic here soon. Over here we have our potatoes. Uh-oh, there's a weed. You better pull it out. Got a big weed. So let's go over here to our strawberries. Here's a good red ripe strawberry. I think Jesus did a whole lot of gardening and this will help us with our lesson. Once upon a time there was a farmer that was walking to go plant some seeds. He accidentally dropped it on some hard dirt and some birds came down and ate the seed. Then he walks over, drops another seed on some hard rocks, and it can't grow because there's no dirt. Then he kept on walking, dropped another seed on some weeds, and the weeds are too big and they grow too fast. Then the farmer walks over, drops a seed into some moist dirt, and it grows really big like our garden. And, and our heart is hard like a rock and it and a seed cannot grow like our heart and then when our heart is moist like on dirt it can grow bigger bigger and bigger and our love will get better and now 
Let's turn it over to Caitlin. Bye-bye. Thank you, Tyler. You have a great garden. I like zucchini too, especially when it's fried. And that was a great story you told us. Did you know that that story is actually in the Bible? Let's read the story together. So go get your Bibles and meet me back right here. such as this one. Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his field, some seeds fell on the footpath, and the bird came and ate them. Other seeds fell on the shallow soil with unfilling rocks. These seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But... The plants soon wilted under this hot sun, and since they didn't have any deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seeds fell, fell on fertile soil, and they produced a crop that was 30, 30 60, and even 100 times as much as been planted. Jesus then explained what this story means in verses 19 through 23. Let's read those together. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who heard the message about the kingdom and didn't understand it. Then the evil one comes then snatches away the seed that was planted in their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word but are too quickly the message in the crowd out by the worries of the life and the lure of weave wealth so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on the good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as they have been planted. Jesus is comparing the seed with God's word. He tells us that we can plant God's word in our hearts and he will help it grow in our lives. I hope that this week you will spend time reading the Bible so you can grow closer to God. That is what the week, this memory verse is about. Hassana is going to teach it to us this morning. This week's verse is Luke 8, 15. But the seed on good soil stands for those with the noble and good heart. Let's do it together with hand motions. But the seed on good soil stands for those with the noble and good heart. Let's do it one more time. But the seed on good soil stands for for those with a noble and good heart. Thank you, Hasana. This week, I hope you can all work on memorizing this verse with your family. Then, you can be the good soil Jesus talks about. 
Thank you all for tuning in to our lesson today. There are several pages in the links on this post to help you learn more from this lesson this week. And as always, we would love to hear from you. Contact us anytime you want to share something you can learn from reading God's Word. Hope to see you again next time. Bye!